This week we're discussing India's banning of Chinese apps, the US University's $1.14 million data ransom, and is the Computer Misuse Act in need of reform? Welcome to the HUT6 InfoSec Roundup. Hi there and welcome, my name is Alex James, and this is the HUT6 InfoSec Roundup, where we discuss some of the latest trends, most pressing matters, and industry news from across the world of information security. First up this week, India bans dozens of Chinese apps. India has this week made the move to permanently ban dozens of Chinese-made apps, including the popular social media platforms TikTok and WeChat. India's government has banned 59 applications in total, claiming that they pose a threat to the sovereignty and integrity of India, defence of India, security of state and public order. Following an escalation in tensions between the two powers, India's decision to ban the apps is the latest of many international concerns regarding Sino-technology and the blurred lines between Chinese state and business. This week alone, it was reported that TikTok has continued to covertly record iPhone users' clipboard content, as well as the still raging debate over the role that Huawei will play in the UK's 5G network. Nikhil Gandhi, head of TikTok India, stated in response, TikTok continues to comply with all data, privacy and security requirements under Indian law and has not shared any information of our users in India with any foreign government, including the Chinese government. We place the highest importance on user privacy and integrity. Cybergroup urges Computer Misuse Act reform. A group of businesses, academics and lawyers have this week written to the UK Prime Minister urging the reform of the 30-year-old Computer Misuse Act. In a public letter, the CyberUp campaign has urged the UK government to review a key piece of cybersecurity legislation, claiming that the Act is no longer fit for purpose. Signed by organisations such as the Cyber Security Research Institute and CREST, as well as individuals from the University of Exeter and McAfee, the letter argues that the existing legislation inadvertently criminalises a large portion of modern cyber defence practices, such as the scanning and interrogation of compromised victims and criminal systems. Given royal assent 30 years ago, the Computer Misuse Act became law at a time when only 0.5% of the UK used the internet, and as the letter claims, the concept of cyber security and threat intelligence research did not yet exist. The letter has yet to yield a response from UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson. University pays $1.14 million data ransom. The University of California, San Francisco has this week admitted that it has paid hackers a staggering $1.14 million following a ransomware attack. Against the advice of many experts, the Medical Research Institute has paid cybercriminals the equivalent of £910,000 after a negotiation witnessed by BBC News. With the news organisation tipped off by an anonymous source, journalists observed the negotiations via a live chat hosted on the criminal gang's website. Accessible only via the dark web, the Netwalker gang operate what appears to be a standard customer service page, including live operators providing support. Having arrived at $1.14 million, the university transferred around 116 bitcoins to the Netwalker gang the following day, and is now working with the FBI to investigate whilst restoring their systems. In an update, the university stated, our investigation is ongoing, but at this time we believe that the malware encrypted our servers opportunistically, with no particular area being targeted. That's all we have for this week's episode of the HUT6 InfoSec Roundup. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and if you'd like to find out more about information security awareness training, please head over to the HUT6 website.